Hey Scorpios and Cross Watchers, welcome to the weekly love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for April 8th to the 15th. So I'm trying a different angle today. I just wanted to sit at a different part of the table, really. <laughs> um, so Scorpios, oh, your energy is pretty incredible. I'm not going to lie. It feels a little bit like a, like a major head trip, actually, tapping into your energy. Um, so it's funny because when I started getting into your energy, I was getting a lot of that similar energy from that last reading, like, you know, being hunted like Peter Rabbit energy for that reading that's titled that. I actually got the word hunted. And then I um and then I heard protection and protected. Um, so Scorpios, I think you are handling that energy uh, fairly well coming into the next week from the eighth to the fifteenth. I think that you are protecting your energy. You've grounded yourself. For those of you who are still struggling, you will. You will ground yourself. You'll find that footing. Um, I also get the sense, Scorpio, that coming like I think there's something with this new moon energy there's something with this new moon energy that's really helping you out and I'm not and I gotta be honest I'm not sure why <laughs> I'm not sure why the new moon is in Aries so for Scorpio where would Aries be for you guys Taurus would be seventh so yeah Aries would be your sixth house oh house of losses house of losses you know maybe Scorpios I think you're making a lot of peace with things I think you're making a lot of peace with with um with different th um aspects of your life that maybe haven't gone your way or maybe relationships that haven't exactly panned out. I think you're making a lot of peace with it. I think that might be part of it because after getting those words, I I oh my god, I just felt this amazing uh, <laughs> amazing, powerful, radiant like god goddess like energy. And like I know how that sounds. But it's like there's no I don't have another word for it. I really don't. Um <laughs> I really really don't. You're, you're just, you're, the energy coming off of you from the 8th to the 15th is so powerful that I think you're actually um, really uh, tapped into manifestation. Um, your manifestations are going to be crazy. Like, just try it. Just give it a try. Just be like, um, try it with something small. Like, for example, like, you know, like certain fruits or vegetables, like are in season at certain times. Sometimes they have them at the grocery store. Sometimes they don't. Maybe like, you know, okay, I really want blood oranges or like something like that, you know, try to manifest that and see if you can actually get your hands on some, you know, just try it. I think your manifestation powers or abilities are going to be incredibly strong during the week from the 8th to the 15th. Once you deal with that energy of feeling bombarded and feeling hunted, feeling like everyone wants a little bit of peace of you. Protect your energy, ground yourself, and and um, make your peace. Make your peace with anything that really hasn't gone your way or things that you feel like you've lost. And I think that's going to really clear out a lot of stuff so that your energy can elevate, so that your vibration can get higher. So your manifestation is going to be crazy. But at the same time, it's, again, it's this god, goddess-like energy. It's fucking beautiful. It's like, it's it's very yummy. It's very yummy, too. Um and I know you've had a lot of suitors, Scorpio, but there's definitely one that stands out. And I feel like going back to that protector energy, remember, it's like you guys have been feeling bombarded. Um, and some of you, that's going to be prolonged until you clear out or make peace and ground yourself and protect your energy. But I do feel like there's someone who wants to protect you a little bit. I think they're aware that you've been bombarded by energies. I think they're aware that you've had options and I feel like they want to come in and like protect you from that a little bit, which is pretty cute. It's pretty sweet. Um, but your energy, when it gets raised, like when your vibration gets, sorry, where are my words, right? When your vibration gets to that next level, they're going to be even more drawn to do that. They're going to be even more drawn to do that because you're going to be like a beacon. All right. Some of you already are, but you're going to be like a beacon for, for people and other energies. And it's like, they, they want to make sure that you, you are not bombarded like that again is kind of like the sense that I'm getting. That's not going to be for all of you, but that will be for some of you. So I do have these pre-shuffle cards out. So I have the seven of wands in a verse with the ace of wands. This is like no more resistance, no more resistance to a beginning, no more resistance to power is what I'm hearing. No more resistance to power. And Scorpio, I feel like this is you raising your vibration. This is a new kind of up leveling for you, Scorpio. So get ready because it, it's powerful, man. It's powerful. And it's going to make you even that much more attractive to people because your energy is just going to, I'm telling you, I haven't felt energy like that. Like, yeah, I have never, yeah, I, know, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't felt energy like that. Um, 444, as I said that. But this is no more resistance to that next level. Um, and I do feel like also this is a little bit of indication about your protector for those who have a protector who wants to come in. Um, 
they don't want to fight it anymore. I feel like there was some resistance, and I think because maybe you were being bombarded, and they were like, oh, shit, how am I going to get my hands on Scorpio, right? They they see it, and they want, they want it. They see you, and they want you. They don't want anyone else's energy all up in you, okay? And then we have Justice and the Two of Swords. This is you, Scorpio. You could be a Libra Scorp Cusper. This is how grounded and balanced you are going to be if you're not already doing that work to protect yourself from those options or from being um, bombarded by energy. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's a lot of grounded, balanced power. And I'm getting power, Scorpio. I mean, you guys are powerful. Anyway, we all know that. Scorpios are very powerful. But this is incredible. This feels pretty incredible. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I keep getting power, power, power. Scorpios, I don't know what the hell you're doing, but you're you're leveling shit up. And it's it's from dealing with being bombarded with these energies and making peace, making peace with the things you've lost, you've lost along the way. OK, this Ten of Pentacles energy. Oh, my God. This is maximum security, legacy, wealth. Right. Long haul, long term could even be buying houses, things of that nature. But I'm just getting like tangible power scorpio maybe you're you're really kicking ass at work you know it could definitely be that it doesn't have to just be your love life or your self work but i feel like for a lot of you it's like it's your mana your mana is going to be incredible okay all right so that being said let's get into it uh so for my newbies and oldies uh it goes without saying this is a general love reading for scorpio uh sun moon rising venus and jupiter not all messages will resonate with everybody messages come through for those who need to hear them so sometimes that'll be you and sometimes it won't be you and that's okay it's okay if it's not your story this week um just know that I do get multiple messages for different groups of people. So even if the reading resonates, not all details will. Um, also, guys, we are working with energy. So just know that the roles can be reversed. Um, it can resonate with you, but maybe it's like the roles are vice versa. So just reverse them. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's all just energy, right? And don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. All right, Scorpios, let's do this. Any messages for Scorpios? regarding love april 8th to the 15th any messages for scorpios regarding love april 8th to the 15th Ooh, i just heard checkmate what game you playing scorpio <laughs> oh that's interesting it's the final move and someone's won that's interesting. That's interesting. Let's see if, if anything else comes off of that. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? April 8th to the 15th. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? April 8th to the 15th. All right. That feels good. Any messages for my Scorpios? My amazing Scorpios. Any messages for my Scorpios regarding love? April 8th to the 15th. Oh, see, you guys, some of you are working. Some of you are working. Eight of Pentacles. This is my research card, my analysis card. Scorpio, you, you hardcore detective researchers. Um, it's also my student card, mentorship card. This is a lot of focus. This is a lot of focus and attention to detail, which very scorpionic i mean we all know that right very very scorpionic even though it is an earth energy seeing if i can pick up anything else on this eight of pentacles i feel like someone's presenting something to you scorpio and it might be your protector i do say protector because i feel like not all you have a protector um but i feel like you are being presented with something. Oh, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> are you overanalyzing your blessings, Scorpio? <laughs> you, you definitely are being presented with something. You're definitely being presented with something. Wow, I can't believe that came out again. Scorpio, it's about to go down. I, I feel like someone is presenting an offer to you or an, um, an opportunity of some kind to really level up your, your tangible security. Again, whether that's your actual finances or maybe it's like maybe you're leveling up your house, maybe you're moving homes, um, getting a promotion of some kind, some kind of offer, some kind of offer. And you're like analyzing the shit out of it. And, you know, like I said, you are you guys are going to be in such incredible, I want to say God and goddess. I don't know why I feel that way. Because um, usually I would say like empress or emperor. So it could definitely be like that. We might see those come out. Um, 
<laughs> it's funny, King of Cups is at the bottom. <laughs> Scorpios. Um, but I think because you're in this energy, nothing's going to get past you. Like nothing. Nothing's going to get past you. And he, yeah, I, yeah, I think you're just overanalyzing something, but not in a bad way. It's for your own protection. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th? For those who are not being presented with something, because some of you aren't, some of you, this is just stuff you're doing for yourself. Um, you're looking at all the different ways to attain what it is you want to attain. You're not, you're not, you're not walking away or moving forward without knowing that you're going to get the Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's just an absolute, again, that powerful emperor, empress, god, goddess energy. I'm getting what I want, even if I have to get it for myself. And I'm going to figure, I'm going to work my ass off to figure out how to get it. Now we have the moon in reverse. Uh, Cancerian energy could also be Pisces. This is a lot. I'm getting a lot of downloads for you. Oh my god. I'm also getting like, um... Oh God, what's that word? Like a coming out? I don't know what that's about. Like a coming out. Scorpio, you are leveling up in some kind of crazy way. And it feels quick. It feels quick. Okay, it's almost like it just started as like a little seed of, I'm gonna do a little self work. I'm gonna work on making peace with the losses I've had. And I'm gonna protect my energy because everyone's bombarding me. And then all of a sudden it's like, boom. Um, it's like all of a sudden you've been so leveled up that you need a coming out party. <laughs> <laughs> that's really how it feels that's really how it feels um but your intuition is going to be really crazy really really on point um so just keep that in mind scorpio and for that and for this week the 8th 8th excuse me 8th to the 15th we're going to be a lot closer to the full moon which is approaching uh, wow <laughs> which is approaching excuse me um and that full moon is on the 19th in libra I know, and we had the full moon last month in Libra, and it was a super moon. And if you're a Libra Scorpio, you're going to feel it, but it's also late degrees, so my Scorpios are probably going to feel it regardless. Anyway, keep it going. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th? If any of you have been having trouble figuring out how to attain your Ten of Pentacles on your own, you're you're not going to have any problems this week. You're going to know exactly what to do. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th? Oh, man. Oh, wow. So then we end with the hangman in reverse. Piscean energy. Spiritual revelations, spiritual knowledge being attained. Again, more downloads. Down you guys are... There's something about major downloads you guys are getting, and that might be part of why you're entering a god goddess energy as well. The more downloads we get, it's just indicative of how connected we are to spirit and how aligned we are to spirit, which only you know helps um, support our mana and keeping that intact. Really, really amazing, guys. Uh, guys, this is going to be amazing. I can feel it. I can feel it. There's big shit coming from my Scorpios who are going to resonate with this. Overall energy, two of wands in reverse. So like I said, some of you are trying to figure this out, and this is where you're getting a little stuck. It's not even a big stuck. It's This is indecision, right? Because for some of you, you're being presented with something by your protector to attain a Ten of Pentacles. They could be off. They could say, hey, move in with me. You know what I mean? Or they could say, hey, let's start a business, something like that. And a lot of you are doing this for yourself where there's not another person involved. Like, I'm getting my maximum amount of security. No matter what I have to do to get it, I just have to figure it out. And that's where that indecision comes into play. But like I said, you're not going to have any problems figuring it out if you've had trouble because you're you're getting downloads like crazy, Scorpio. Crazy, crazy downloads. OK, and there is a lot of emotion involved I'm getting, too. And I think it's just because you're passionate about it. Whatever this Ten of Pentacles is for you, you're passionate about it. I think that's why it's a little emotional for you. So let's look at this Eight of Pentacles and see what exactly it is you're looking at. OK, or what other details we can get off of that. So I have the Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Okay. I don't know. Hold on. It's like too many things. Let me drink some water first. I don't know what god or goddess would say this. I will shake the earth. I will shake the earth. Scorpio, what the fuck are you planning? <laughs> oh my God. Um, why do I feel like your wrath is about to be incurred? 
Oh, see, even the way I said that. Um, oh, Scorpios. You're okay. You're heading to amazing places. But I do feel like for some of you, your wrath is about to come out and be provoked. And I don't know why I feel that way. Tell me about Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Wow. Seven of Wands. Um, so again, protecting yourself. That's why you're looking at this so hard, whether it's an offer from someone like uh, an emperor, <laughs> Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Um, you know, someone's making you an offer. You're trying to protect yourself by looking at every little nitty gritty detail before you go and jump into your Ten of Pentacles. And others of you, it's like you're fighting like hell for yourself to build up for yourself a Ten of Pentacles, okay? So keep in mind, guys, there are two different stories going on here. Talking about the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> I think some of y'all are sick. That was so weird. All of a sudden, I got nasally, and all of a sudden, my throat just got scratchy like that. Like, instantaneous. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Tell me about Eight of Pentacles. For Scorpio. Wow, even my voice is different now. Um, tell me about Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio. <clears throat> Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Scorpios, what the hell did you do to me? <laughs> Maybe it'll pass. It'll probably pass. Tell me about Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio. <laughs> regarding love April 8th to the 15th tell me about eight of pentacles for Scorpio regarding love April 8th to the 15th okay wow the next two clarifiers out six of cups in reverse Venus and Scorpio energy soulmate energy past life energy karmic energy the past memories childhood nine of wands in reverse this is my fighting card this is the you know, the been battered by life. This has been being battered by your past. Scorpio, this is why you're taking your time. You're not getting burned again. You are not getting burned again. That's exactly what this energy is saying. I'm protecting myself from any bad shit happening to me again. If you know, some of you, this is a very similar situation that you've been in before in your past. And you're like, fuck no, the, the past is the history is not repeating itself today <laughs> is what you're telling yourself. And overall energy for the eight of pentacles. Look, ace of swords, Truth and clarity and more downloads. <laughs> Truth and clarity. You are being very clear headed about this. You're very grounded about this. And I, I'm getting that that's the only way. That's the only way that you're going to make the right decision here. Okay. Um, so you guys are on the right track. I mean, honestly, this is beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. Now let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. Very curious what we have going on there. Let's look at your blessings and what they entail. <clears throat> Tell me about Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. <clears throat> Tell me about Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Oh, Scorps. <laughs> Tell me about Ten of Pentacles. Should I go take a Mucinex? What the heck? Tell me about Ten of Pentacles. For Scorpio. Regarding love. April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. <clears throat> regarding love. April 8th to the 15th. This Ten of Pentacles I think is going to be a little different for everybody. But let's see what else we can find out. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Mm -mm. Oh my. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Oh. Okay, Scorps, this is... Mm. Okay, I thought I was feeling wrath from somewhere. I, it's not... I don't think it's yours. 
I don't think it's yours. I think it's someone else in your environment. So overall energy for the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles. Like I said, an offer. Some of you, this is going to be like a literal offer from somebody. Um, this is tangible offer. So it's like, you know, it's either about money um, or it's about spending time. And it's, it's an offer usually where you hear someone's voice, right? So in person or over the phone, very, very tangible. I'm also hearing, I, I, I just heard solid, very solid, very solid, very solid. However, <laughs> the clarifying energies. Uh, hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. you know uh maintenance guys but it's like they were basically banging shit on my door it was like um just wanted to know that's all anyway <laughs> uh so the clarifying energies for the ten of pentacles if that'll focus temperance sagittarius energy with the queen of wands in reverse aries energy could also be fire or um water queen of wands in reverse that's jealousy okay that's jealousy that's hostility that's domineering behavior that's a challenge i'm getting challenge challenge Scorpio, there's something regarding this Ten of Pentacles where you are going to encounter an energy where someone is kind of challenging you a little bit as far as um, I feel like ugh, how strong you're standing, how strong you're standing. But with temperance here, basically, basically the spirit spirits on your side is what I'm getting spirits basically on your side and put in this little fire shit out like I don't know what to call that. Um, but definitely it's it's interesting because some of you are getting an offer for this, and this can also just represent an opportunity because some of you, like I said, are building for yourself, right? Um, this opportunity or offer, it's tangible, it's yours, you're solid, you're grounded, you're the god, goddess, emperor, empress, you're going to get it. But there is a, some jealousy here, some hate, some hating, hating and hostility, and a domineering keeps coming to mind. I really feel like someone's going to challenge you in a in a very low vibrational way. Someone might incur your wrath, I'm telling you. But spirit's basically here. This is like my divine fix-it card, my, my fix-it angel, my let's balance shit out divine, <laughs> divine intervention card coming to put out this fire. But let's use the Kipper deck. I'm so in love with this deck, guys. You have no idea. Um, so it's not a tarot deck, but here I'll show you. I need to put it in the description. So in case you guys want it for yourself, I always put links to all my decks because you guys always ask. It's the Kipper fortune teller deck. So like I said, it's not a tarot deck, um, but it does really help like hone in on some details here. So let's see uh, what this uh, is coming from, what this jealousy, hating challenge, challenge is coming from. Someone doesn't want you to have this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about Queen of Wands in reverse, and it's definitely someone in your environment, um, whether you, like energetic environment. So whether you actually engage with them or not physically, they're in your energetic Field, okay tell me about queen of wands in reverse for scorpio what's this challenge about tell me what this challenge is about why is scorpio being challenged by this individual or energy what's this challenge about what's this challenge about what's this challenge about my god i don't know what the hell they're doing <laughs> what's this challenge about tell me about the queen of wands in reverse What's this challenge about? What's this jealousy, hating energy about? Tell me about Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, I'll try that again. Come on, if I can pick these up. Tell me what this Queen of Wands in reverse is. Tell me what this challenge is. Why is Scorpio getting challenged? Ooh. Why is Scorpio getting challenged? Oh, why is Scorpio getting challenged? Oh, yeah, it's not just one person. It's not just one person. So these are two cards that came out. I love, fucking love these cards. Distant Horizons and Great Fortune. There's a group of people, and I say a group, and it's not just one person, because on the bottom of the deck, we have community. 
So it could even be your family, because Ten of Pentacles is also family, right? So it could even be your family that you're trying to ch achieve this for. Your family could be jealous of you or your social circle or just, you know, people, people in general hating on you because look what's coming your way. They actually see it coming before you did is what I'm getting. You're, you're coming to some, like I said, great, great shit, Scorpio. Look at that. Look at that. It's And look at how fantastical that is. I mean, this is, this is abundance and blessings on a whole other level. This is not your average fortune. This is not average. And people are noticing that. And like I said, it's almost like they saw it coming before you did. And I, I really do feel like there's at least one individual who's going to step up and challenge you to make sure that you don't get this 10 of pentacles. But spirit, spirit's here. Spirit wants you to have this 10 of pentacles. And uh, Scorpio, it's like from what I'm gathering, you've been through the, you've been through the ringer. You've been through the ringer and it, you just fucking deserve it. You've done the work. You've done the work and you deserve it. It's not like it's just being handed to you, okay? So now let's move on. Oh my God, 25 minutes. So let's move on to the moon in reverse and the hangman in reverse. This is all about those revelations, right? Stuff that was hidden away and just downloads, 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 downloads. God, okay, let's, let's find out what you're finding out. Let's look at the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse. I feel like you're also gaining information from the moon in reverse energy that's actually pushing you out of a hanged man position. And I feel like it's going to help you with whatever last decisions you need to make to get this ten of pentacles. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Okay, let's look at the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Scorpio. <laughs> Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is my uh, let go card. It's the opening of the heart chakra card. It's release. It's release. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Like I said, and some of you are going to be making a lot of peace with your with things that you've lost in your life. Tell me about the moon in reverse. So I'm at the moon in reverse for Scorpio regarding love. I also am getting patience. You're going to be learning a lot more patience, Scorpio, which is beautiful. Look, I'm a Scorp too. I know we struggle with that. Okay. Talk about the moon in reverse. It's okay. No judgment. <laughs> and it's funny. The segment said no judgment. Judgment. Um, fire energy. Also Scorpio for me as a reader. Um, yeah, I, honestly, spirit is like right on your shoulder, guys. They're right on your shoulder. They might be putting you through a little bit of a heart chakra opening or someone that you're close to in a heart chakra opening. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Maybe that protector, that protect, ooh. Three of swords, pain. And I feel pain. It doesn't even feel like, sometimes it's just discomfort or something that just kind of bothers you or gets under your skin. No, this is pain. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Scorpio. Hmm. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy could also be, um, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> fire. It's a fi it's a double fire card if I can keep these in my hands. Uh, so Aries or Leo as well. I feel like this is your protector. This is someone coming in. Um, I think you're realizing, Scorpio, there's something about this protector that's very wounded, very hurt. Not all of you, not, not all of you, it's a protector. Some of you, this is a protector individual. Others, it's just, it's someone of interest, right? Someone of interest. But there's a lot of pain that this this knight is carrying here. That's what it is. They're going through the heart chakra opening. They're going through the heart chakra opening. I, I got it. I got it. Once you elevate your vibration, you must be very connected to this person because I feel like it triggers them. It's almost like... You raise your vibration and it triggers their heart chakra. It's like you have to be very connected. You're probably connected in the heart chakras, honestly, for that to happen. And it's almost like they're going to come in with this pain on their back. But with judgment here, but with judgment here, that basically is like this, this, is, this needs to happen. This needs to happen. It's the right thing. I'm also hearing balance. It's balancing energies. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Scorpio. Two of swords in reverse, making a clear-headed decision. Yeah, they they see now. They see so clearly. This is really interesting, Scorpios, because it's like, this person I could tell has a lot of passion for you and a lot of love for you. Oh, look, it's at the bottom. Huh? 
Set of Cups. Um, but there's something that was clouding their judgment before, and I'm not sure what that was, but there's something was clouding their judgment before. But they, they're making clear-headed decision to come your way. Tell me about the moon in reverse. <clears throat> For Scorpio. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the moon in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Yeah, they want to make things uh, right with you. The last card out, we have Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this tells me that it has been delayed, very much delayed, because the wheel needs to start turning in the right direction. But they're carrying a lot of pain on their back, a lot. And don't get perturbed that it's a Knight of Wands, because I just feel like it's just it's just about their their passion. It's just about their passion. I don't think they're looking for a one night stand because a knight who's wounded like this, a Knight of Wands who's wounded like that, and you have Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune backing that knight. That means Spirit is on their side. Spirit doesn't support anyone who's just trying to fuck around and mess with people's hearts. You know, um, no, they're coming in quick. They're coming in quick, and it's almost like you're elevations triggering their elevation it's it's very much like elevate 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 you guys are very connected overall energy for the moon in reverse three of cups celebration celebration and rejoicing and coming together they want to come in with you they want to celebrate with you and i think it's also this ten of pentacles energy and some of and this night for some of you is making this offer making this offer to create a ten of pentacles with you they want to celebrate with you scorpio i'm also saying they want to just celebrate you um, be with you, congratulate, congratulate. They're proud of you. They're really proud of you. It's really sweet. It's really fucking sweet, actually. Um, and now let's look at the hangman in reverse. Oh my god, 30 minutes in! <laughs> okay, now let's look at the hangman in reverse. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mm. Ugh. Okay. Tell me about the hangman in reverse. So I'm with the hangman in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love. <laughs> April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the hangman in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love. April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the hangman in reverse for Scorpio. Ooh. A king of wands, a uh, Leo energy uh, could also be um, fire or air. This is someone who takes a lot of action. I feel like this is your knight. I feel like that's your knight. Tell me about uh, the hangman in reverse. Oh. Really? Some of you, this is a third party. Some of you, this is a third party. No wonder this person's jealous and wants to challenge you. This person, your protector, for those who have a protector, or again, this could just be a person of interest. I, I feel like there was someone and they're hating on you, Scorpio. They're hating, they're hating, they're hating and they know. Oh, shit. <coughs> mm. They're hating and they know it's because, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. I told you, it was like, this, like, I think some of you guys are sick. And I was like, why did my throat and nose get all messed up all of a sudden? <coughs> mm. <coughs> mm. 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 Scorpio, this person's hating on you because they know that they're, they're, they're interested in you and they're coming your way. They're coming your way. And this person's also jealous because they know that you're destined for fortune. They know you are. <clears throat> These two are definitely soulmates. Mm. But given what I'm feeling with your connection with this King of Wands, I, 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 don't, think, I don't think they got anything on you, Scorpio. Tell me about the hangman in reverse. Tell me about the hangman in reverse for Scorpio. <clears throat> Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the hangman in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. And the pain that this Knight of Wands might be carrying might be this third party situation, okay? And with their heart chakra opening. Yeah, good luck trying to have a third party with an open heart chakra. <laughs> 
yeah, this person's learning some hard shit. But they want you. They want to celebrate you. Tell me about the hangman in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. But definitely, like I said, it was community related too. So it's it's not just this one person. If they have a family, then the whole family is pretty upset. Tell me about the hangman in reverse or Scorpio. But I feel like it's just, it's your environment of people who watch you and notice you and are around you. Tell me about the hangman in reverse or Scorpio. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna wait. Tell me about the hangman in reverse or Scorpio regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Oh my God. So what did I say, Scorpio? They got nothing on you because you're a goddamn empress. That's right. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. I knew you were in that goddess amazing like energy. Yeah, this person's hating because they know they're about to lose their king to an empress. Which I gotta say is kind of impressive because a queen of wands energy is usually like the most irresistible person. I'll, like, I've seen that in readings where people will leave an empress for a queen of wands, but it, that ain't happening today. <laughs> that is not happening today. You elevating your energy triggered this person, this person's heart chakra to open and they couldn't live with the third party situation anymore. They couldn't do it. They see clearly. They're making a clear-headed decision to fix this because it's a long time coming because they want to celebrate with you and come together with you. And that has triggered them from a hangman stuck position to, oh my God, I see it now. Oh my God, I get it now. They're getting downloads, Scorpio. I see it. I need my empress. I need my empress. I need my Scorpio. Overall energy for the hangman in reverse. Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. Yeah, they're coming out. They're coming out and they're coming your way, Scorpio. Wow. And like I said, some of them are the ones going to make this offer to you for a 10 of pentacles. And you're, you're looking this shit over because you're like, I'm not getting burned again. I am not getting burned again. I know I meant for greatness. And so does this queen. They almost everyone sees it, Scorpio. It's almost undeniable, which I think is also why people have had their energy and pause all over you. But you've protected your energy and you've grounded yourself and you are standing strong as an empress and goddess, god, emperor energy, okay? It's undeniable. And even like the way you two are glued together, look, even that's like a protecting stance. Oh, jeez. Even this is like a protecting stance. It's like, here you are and they're like, I got your back, boo. Just stay behind me. I got your back. I'm, and they're looking out. They're looking out and around. This is a protecting energy. And I'm almost... <laughs> Scorpio, who do you have? I just heard forced to be reckoned with. This person is like a, I dare you to fuck with me if you want to fuck with my empress. Like, wow. Mm. I know Scorpios would like that. But okay. That being said, before we move on to the Oracle cards, if you don't want to be in a third party situation or you don't want to be with anyone who put you in a third party situation, unbeknownst to you or not, that's up to you. I just read the cards. Okay. <laughs> now, let me pull some romance angel cards and see what we got going on there. I don't, mm, do you need advice, Scorpio? You might. Let's see. Let's see. I haven't decided if you need advice yet because you're, you're, you, you just know to analyze this shit. You just know to analyze it and research the hell out of it. Any messages from my Scorpios? regarding this spread any messages for my Scorpios regarding this spread and I do feel like oh god I wish I could show you how these are showing on my board because I don't want to move the I don't want to move the phone and then have it all be kerfuffled but um actually you know what I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna do it hold on guys give me a second oh, I don't want to lose my cord okay okay Okay, I know it's a lot to look at, which is also why I don't show you guys the cards, because it, it, it gets distracting from the story. Here's that queen. Here's this, this person who's pissed off and jealous. There's your king looking at her with you behind him. I think he might even be protecting you from this person. I really think so. I think that that's part of that protection mode. Like, I dare you to fuck with her. I dare you to fuck with my empress. Like, I know I, know I might have cheated on you, but don't you dare fuck with my empress. <laughs> And guys, third party doesn't always have to be cheating, but these are two soulmates. It's kind of hard to believe that, you know, it wouldn't be a cheating situation, you know? Anyway, anyway, moving on. Any messages for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any messages for my Scorpios regarding this spread? 
Any messages for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Yeah, he's protecting you. He or she, the King of Wands, is protecting you, Scorpio. It's that it's really kind of incredible and sweet and like I just I feel like that's exactly what a Scorpio would 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 really respect and appreciate. Ooh. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Um, I definitely don't think this is between you and the king. I definitely think it's between the king and the queen. Um because you guys have found your balance. You're very balanced. Because what unrequited love doesn't always mean explicitly what that says. It's about not being balanced and not giving or taking enough equally between two people. Any messages for my Scorpios? Any messages for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Hmm. Trust the situation's calling for you to have faith. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Scorpio, you've been burned. You've been burned in the past and you're not letting that shit happen to you again. So maybe there's a trust issue there, but honestly, I feel like it's warranted. You're just protecting yourself. I really don't think there's anything wrong with that. But it, they're telling you to be more trusting, but you know, protect yourself, protect yourself. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding this spread? And you know, especially with the third party situation, that's going to rock some of your guys' trust. How could it not? How could it not? And again, decide how you feel about that. Any messages from my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any messages from my Scorpios regarding this spread? We got another card out here. Okay. So we got. Hmm. Oh my. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. What did I say about manifestation? Your manifestation abilities are going to be crazy once you really elevate your vibration and stand strong in that God, goddess, emperor, 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 empress energy. Your manifestation is going to be intense. And that might, and again, so much so that you're triggering this person to have a heart chakra opening and they want to come in and protect you. Um, <laughs> anyway. You're, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. And a lot of you are just are also manifesting this Ten of Pentacles for yourself. Because like I said, not all of you are getting this offer presented to the by this person. Some of you, this is just representing a solid opportunity, not just not an offer. Okay, so just just know that. But there is definitely a protector here for you, Scorpio, whoever resonates with it, th this there is. Oh, my God, it feels so strong. They definitely want to protect you. Overall energy. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Spirit's basically saying, you know, give us a sh give this a shot. It's basically saying re research the hell out of it if you want. <laughs> research the hell out of, it, out of <coughs> research the hell out of this opportunity or offer as much as you want. But it's true. It's a true offer. It's a sincere offer. Um, it's a solid offer, opportunity or offer. Okay, give it a shot. Give it a shot to get your ten of pentacles. Um, I don't think you guys need advice. I think you guys got this handled. I think you guys got this handled just fine, Scorpios. You're researching the hell out of it. You're not getting burned again. Crossing your crossing your T's, dotting your I's. It is a true offer. It's a solid offer. Yeah, you got some haters. Not to mention like a specific person who's who's hating on you because they know they know what's on the horizon for you. Quite literally, what's on the horizon for you. They know, and they know they're probably gonna lose their king in the process because the king wants to protect the hell out of you. Okay. Um, and like I said, some of you, it is a definitely a third party love triangle situation, but your elevation of your energy triggers this person to open their heart chakra, heart chakra, and they can't live with a third party anymore because of that. You can't have an open heart chakra and have a third party situation like that. You could try. You could try. That'd be a really hard way to live, you know? But anyway, I hope this was helpful and insightful for you, Scorpios. Uh, stay strong. Keep protecting your energy. Keep protecting your energy because not all of you are going to have a protector there to do it, okay? Um, so keep doing that because that's only going to lead you closer to your Ten of Pentacles, whatever your Ten of Pentacles is, personally, okay? All right, guys, I, I love you. I hope you have a great week and a great night. Don't forget to check out Patreon on the Facebook page, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.